To set up the LED8200, first make sure that the label web is tight against the back plate. That's necessary. It needs to stay that way while it's running. And then simply move a gap into the sensor. Make sure the labels are under this arrow indicating where the sensor is. And get a gap in the sensor. And then use the gap quick set function by simply pressing both of these up and down arrows at the same time. And it will select to this spot when this light is on as indicated here this is the gap setup you want it on this bottom led in this green area and then you should be able to go sometimes it's easier to peel off a label and then you can simply advance to that liner only space and then you can do the setup there instead we recommend using a label gap whenever possible if that's too difficult to do you can remove the label instead, and then you can run. This gray area indicates the lights that should be on when it's running. You see it's going down to the bottom LED during the gaps, and it's up at this top LED in the gray area during the labels. If it goes beyond the gray area, that's fine. As long as it stays in that area while it's running, uh, the sensor's working correctly. It's really all there is to it. There are up and down adjustments if you need some fine adjustment. Unlike some teach functions, which teach a sensor how to work and then leave you no adjustment after that, the LED8200 allows you to adjust it manually if that becomes necessary.